Last Tuesday night, Louis Vuitton hosted their Spring 2022 fashion show when several climate protesters stepped into the walkway with signs. In the videos of what happened, we can see signs that read overconsumption equals extinction, no fashion on a dead planet, and a third sign in French that was too hard to read. After the first two male protesters were stopped by the security, the third protester made it far into the catwalk, with her knee being knocked down into the ground by the first security guard. And I mean, these guys just ran for it. They went into the walkway and knocked her to the ground, and then several other security guards came in. And it was super intense, and I honestly was shocked to see that. But it's also something really important about the fashion industry and its effects in society, which I'll discuss in this video. So today we're going to analyze what happened last Tuesday, some of the protesters' messages, and the industry as a whole, because it is a really big rabbit hole that I honestly was shocked to find out a lot of the practices of this industry and its effects it has on the environment. So come with me and let's take a look at this industry and why these protesters were there last Tuesday night. <music> So from the three protesters that were present, the first two got knocked down before they could reach the catwalk. However, the third one was the one that was on all the pictures, and she carried the iconic sign that read, Overconsumption equals Extinction. And there on the sign you can read three logos, which are Youth for Climate, uh, Friends of the Earth, France, and Extinction Rebellion, which are three really prominent uh, environmentalist groups that help organize protests. They are... Uh, groups that speak about these issues, about the climate change and how its effects on society, about how and why we should pressure governments and corporations in order to reduce their emissions and make systematic changes in order to make a greener future for everybody and ensure that the world doesn't destroy itself because of humans because it is a really big issue that people have to be more conscious of. And personally, I think these protesters' actions were more than justified and leaving behind the fact that it was absolutely awesome what they did, um, it was also a great way to raise visibility around the issues surrounding climate change, uh, put it into the mainstream and especially in the minds of the people in the fashion industry, and also raise visibility for the issues within the fashion industry that we're going to look at in a little bit. Um, I fully support them. I think what they did was cool, and it was just a great way to raise awareness. And doing the research for this video, I was shocked and disgusted with many of the practices of the fashion industry, and I honestly understand now where these protesters come from, because I was confused first. I didn't assume that the, it contaminated as much, but really analyzing what they do, and especially their philosophy surrounding the trash they generate uh, by destroying their own products, among many other things, is something that really made me feel just a pain in my stomach, because... Um, as people, as consumers, they like these big corporations try to put all the blame on us and what we consume, how we consume all these products that we buy, when really the change has to be systematic and not just systematic, but also the way uh, these corporations, you know, do their practices. But I think governments have to do their part, corporations have to do their part. But in the end, the, the blame has to start being shifted towards the systematic change, not in the individual. So let's start with the facts. The fashion industry is one of the most polluting industries of the world, and according to a Business Insider article, it produces 10% of all the carbon emissions in the world. 10%, that is a huge number, and honestly, I was shocked to read that. But it makes sense considering how much waste they dispose, and how much products they generate each year with each season, and their practice basically goes by the name of uh, fast fashion, which is a term generated in the last century of how these fashion industries started shifting towards a more consumer oriented business model, which generates tons and tons of clothes that honestly people just don't wear. They just don't wear these clothes. They put them on once and they discard it. And many of the clothes don't even reach the consumer. They just get destroyed. They get thrown into landfills in many ways that just basically produces a lot of waste. And analyzing this, I realized that this is a huge problem that was overlooked. And, uh, you know, researching in climate change and pollution and all that, I never imagined the fashion industry was this big uh, part in this problem. And this is something I really want to do with this video, too, is raise visibility and realize that those protesters there were not there for nothing, just for laughs or whatever. They were there because they want to... Uh, like deliver this message that the fashion industry has a big role to play. And in order to reduce the carbon emissions and to ensure a better future, this needs to be addressed. And this is something I'll talk about because people assume, oh, I'm not going to be able to wear clothes anymore. That doesn't make any sense. So yeah, we're going to be have to, you know, look for better ways to, you know, produce sustainable clothing because this business model is just so destructive and unnecessary for the uh, people who work to and the environment. Another fact that shocked me has to do with Burberry, like some of their practices include destroying a lot of their clothes. According to their BBC article that I read, 
is they generate and destroyed uh, 28.6 million pounds of worth of clothes. And this is something that a lot of industries do. Like basically they destroy their own products. They cut them with scissors in order to generate demand and to make sure people don't steal them or don't resell them basically creates artificial value that in the end means nothing because the same resources are being used. So to me, this is just despicable and shouldn't be done. A lot of these industries also rely on child labor, labor exploitation, a lot of really horrible practices that, you know, like deserve an entire video of their own because it's just a lot of to go into. But this is also obviously really bad and a lot of industries do this, but honestly, I think it's worth mentioning because of how big this industry is and how like the amount of revenue that uh, goes into these millionaires that complete, that keep uh, producing a lot of clothes every single year and just generate mountains and mountains of waste that basically go to nothing. So addressing the argument of what we should just stop using clothes altogether, I don't think we should stop using clothes, but also like just be more responsible on the things that we use. We should uh, know where our clothes come from and not only clothes, like all the products we consume, because this is a problem uh, like a lot. Of, most of the industries on the planet pollute to some degree. But the reason why this fashion industry has to have so much focus is because it is overwhelmingly more polluting than other industries. Uh, same with the meat industry, which is overwhelmingly wasteful in resources. It's not that we have to stop doing these things, but also just address the fact that these are super incredibly more uh, polluting than other industries. That's the problem. We have to be able to recognize the facts and recognize why they're so much worse than others. So to recap, I think the practices from these industries are an absolute travesty and we should do everything in our power to prevent these things from continuing and honestly reevaluate the way we produce clothes because we can't do this while continuing into a greener future, a more sustainable future. This has to change. So we should look to other alternatives for clothes, you know, support local businesses, not not these large conglomerates that import um clothes from other countries and produce a lot of suffering and a lot of waste in the process. So this is something to be aware of if you're going to be an environmentalist, if you're going to spread the word. So we need to focus on this instead of buying for the sake of buying or just hopping on this latest social trend or maintaining social status. These should not be things we should be aiming for. We should have to aim for a more sustainable future because this is the only way we're going to accomplish that. So to wrap up and for my final remarks, I think people should just focus on buying what they need. If they buy an article of clothing, they should hold on to it forever or or don't throw it away if you really don't need it. If you really don't want the piece of clothing that you already bought, you should donate it or sell it to somebody who actually needs it. I think people should don't stop supporting businesses that do these practices and uh, support more local businesses. I think they should raise awareness and stay informed uh, about the issues surrounding climate change. In addition, I think people should have a more scientific way of viewing the world, of evaluating evidence and focus on the facts and how those facts affect our world. I think people should um, understand the issues we're facing today and also explain those issues to others. So that's everything for today. If you liked the video, please share it and like it and subscribe and all that. Um, if, I'm going to be posting a lot more videos about environmentalism, about philosophy, the futurism, uh, technology related also to video games, pop culture. I like all of that stuff. So this channel is going to be a nice place to talk about all the things I'm passionate about, especially things that affect our world today and that are going to affect our future. So if you liked it, please subscribe. And I guess that's everything for today. I'll see you around and have a nice week, everybody. See you around.